So for AB, you have to do vector B minus vector A. So B, um, they previously gave to us, and A was uh, what we figured out in one of the other problems. And if you plug in into B minus A, you just get negative 8 minus a negative 9, which is negative 8 plus 9, which is 1. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. And 25 minus a negative 1, so 25 plus 1, is 26. So that gives us um, vector AB. That's her answer right there. Um, and they had started off this problem by talking about vector BC um, by saying that lines L2 and L3 intersect at point C where BC gives you um, 6, 3, negative 24. Um, but all you have to do to find BC is realize that if you're going from A to B and then from B to some point C, then from B to C, we would call that vector BC, and from A to B, we call that vector AB. So how can you get from A to C? Well, if you go directly from A to C, it's obviously one way. But that would be equal to doing A to B and then B to C. So we're just going to have to plug in. And they want to know the magnitude, I'm not sure if you can see that, of AC. So we're going to figure out AC, we're going to figure out what its coordinates are, and then we're just going to find the magnitude. So we just got to take AB, which is 1, negative 1, 26. And we have to add BC, which they're giving to us as 6, 3, negative 24. And then we get 7, 2, 2. So that's AC. So if that's AC, how do we find the magnitude of AC? Because that's what they want. So we don't need to circle this, but we need to find the magnitude. So that's the square root of 7 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared, which is equal to 49 plus 4 plus 4 is 49 plus 8, which is 57. So the square root of 57. Um, and I believe that's a prime number. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Um, but it doesn't matter since you can't factor out any... Um, perfect square. So you can factor as 19 times 3, but both of those are prime numbers. Um, so we'll just leave our final answer as square root of 57.